Interrupts are urgent tasks that require the CPU's attention. They're not necessarily life or death things. They can be just simply pressing a button on a keyboard or closing a window or unplugging a USB cable, but all of those may need to stop the CPU so that it can handle whatever you're trying to do here. An important acronym to know is ISR. It stands for Interrupt Service Routine. It sounds more complicated than it is. All this is, is the program that runs to handle the interrupt. And there are loads of different ISRs for all of these different potential interrupts. You need to be able to describe the steps involved in handling an interrupt. Well, first of all, the CPU checks for an interrupt at the end of an FDE cycle. If there is an interrupt, it then checks for priority of this interrupt. And it will only proceed if the interrupt's priority is higher than the current task's priority. Assuming the interrupt is quite important, we want to first of all save the contents of the registers to an area of memory called the stack. We then execute the relevant ISR. And then lastly, we need to reload the registers by popping the stack to continue with what we were doing before the interrupt occurred. 